Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to use vanilla JavaScript and create a nice application that will show us some information about different restaurants all around the world. To have a better understanding of this, let's have a look at the demo right now. So the project we are going to create, it's very simple, is this one right here. We can see that we have different restaurants displayed in a cart mode. We can see the restaurant name, the restaurant image, and some information about the restaurant. And if we click on some visit website button right here, we are taken to the website of this restaurant. Isn't that amazing? We will be creating this using vanilla JavaScript, HTML and CSS. I hope you like the demo. If this is your first time watching, my name is Yusman. I'm a self-taught web developer and I make tutorials about web development topics. And if that's something that you really like and you are interested in, I recommend you to subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification icon so that you don't miss any of my videos. Let's open VS Code right now and start creating this amazing project from scratch. All right, so inside VS Code, we will create three files. First one will be index.html. The second one will be style.css and the third one will be script.js. Inside the index file, we will type HTML and we will have our boilerplate. And here for the title, we will say restaurants or maybe vanilla JS restaurants app and here below right before the closing body tag we will include our script which will be our script.js and here also we will include our styling file which is style.css okay now after we have done this inside the body we will create a div with the class name of container which we will populate using javascript dynamically and with that, our boilerplate, HTML boilerplate is ready. And right now I will import a couple of styles. I'll copy and paste them and you will have access to them in the description below of the video. So let me grab them quickly and I'll paste them right here. Again, you will have access to those in the description below of the video. And let me just it's just a basic styling which we will use for this application. And once I paste them right here, uh, I can open this with live server. So let's open this with live server. And that will appear right here inside the browser on a new tab. And the API we'll be using is this one right here, example dash data draftbit.com slash restaurants, which gives us uh, all the available restaurants coming from this API. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this URL right here and inside the script.js, first thing we're going to do is we're going to import the container. So this div with the class name of container that we created. So I'm going to say const container equals document query selector and we will target this container. So I'm going to say dot container. Then after that we will do uh, const fetch data that will be uh, an arrow function so const fetch data equals an arrow function okay and inside this arrow function what we will basically do is use the fetch api to fetch the data with an http request and then we will iterate through the array of items and we will display a div containing the meal name the meal image uh, sorry the restaurant name the restaurant image and some information about the restaurant location country and uh, we'll create a button which will open the restaurant's website so to achieve this we can do fetch and we can provide this url then after that we need to do dot then because that will return a promise and we will have the response once we have the response, we need to convert the response into JSON. So we do that by saying res.json. And then we do another dot then and we get the data back. And after that, we can console log the data. So I'm going to say console log data. And if we have an error, let's do catch and say error and let's console log our error just like this. 
but in order for this function to run we need to execute it so i'm gonna do fetch data to execute immediately when our when our uh, page is loaded so i'm gonna do like this i'm gonna go to our uh, project and hit the inspect tools open the console and let's see what we have uh, let's open the network tab right here and make sure that it's not no trolling oh i i did some mistake right here so let's go back it's script.js so script.js and save and now we should get the data and you see that we have 95 results each one is an object containing some uh, key value pairs uh, so like addressed city country id image and more and we will use this right now to create the ui so what we're gonna do now right here inside this uh, data part uh, we're gonna do the following we're gonna say container dot inner html and that will be equal to data dot map and here we will have information about each restaurant so i'm going to say restaurant and for each restaurant we will output so i'm going to use backticks right here and we will output a div so this one will be a div and this div will have the class of so that will be the main card div and that one will be uh, cart. I'm sorry, that it's gonna be cart restaurant. So I'm gonna say cart restaurant, and I'm gonna copy this. So it's gonna be cart restaurant, and right here inside this main cart div, we will have another div and this one will be with the class of cart let's convert this into cart restaurant i don't know why I'll, why i called it meal it should be a restaurant uh cart restaurant container okay uh cart restaurant cart restaurant heading and inside it we will output some h2 tag so i'm going to say h h2 like this and here we will output the restaurant that i believe it was name let's check that so let's open and we have a name yes so it's name and let's uh make this aligned so after that uh, after that we will do the following so i'm gonna make another indentation right here to make it some prettier okay div and this div should come right here just like this and between that div and that div there should be a line okay okay now here we'll output the image so i'm going to say image source and that's going to have an alt tag and that would be hash okay and this image will have the source of restaurant.image just like this okay then we'll have another div right here which will hold the details so i'm going to say div and this div will be with this class so cart restaurant details so let's say class to equal cart restaurant details and inside this div we will have separate divs first one will be country second one with phone and address and an anchor and an anchor tag so 
let's do this. So right here, let's do the other div, which will be with the class of country. So I'm going to say country, country. And here we'll have something inside this div. Then we will have another div. And this one will be with the class of phone. Okay. And address. So another div with class name of address. And below this, we will have a div. And this div will hold our button. So that's going to be an anchor tag. Okay. Class, we can give this a class of uh, website. And here, we will have something as well. But before that, we will have to navigate into uh, CDN. So it's a very nice site, website, cdnjs.com, and we will need to import uh, our font awesome because because we will be using font awesome five icons. So font awesome icons, and we can click here, and we will get the icons from here. But before that, we need to copy this link tag right here. All right. And we need to paste it inside the index.html right below uh, the linking style sheet code. So we have to paste it right here. And right now, we can also, okay, we can also save this. And we can start importing some information right here. So for this one, for the country, what we will have, we'll have a paragraph and this paragraph, okay, will have a span and this span will hold our icon. So we will search for country right here. So I'm going to say country and we'll grab the first flag right here. So I'm going to copy. And I'm going to go back to VS Code and paste it right here between the opening and closing span tags. And here I will say country and that will be restaurant, restaurant dot country. So just like this. Okay. Then we will do the same for, so basically I'm going to copy and paste. And same for the address, so paste, but we will just replace our icons. So let's grab another icon, let's search for phone, and let's copy this one right here, go back and paste it when where phone is. So here, instead of this uh, icon with class name of class name of F S F A um, country. We're gonna paste it for the phone, and we're gonna say phone, and that's gonna be restaurant dot phone. I believe it was phone. Let's check. Was it phone? Yeah, it's phone. So come back. It's correct. And right here we can say. address and it should be address all right so we have address and we're going to search for home icon so i'm going to type i'm going to type home and grab the first one right here come back and paste it right here so after paste right here 
then restaurant address and here we will have an anchor tag so i'm going to say a href and that will be equal to restaurant the website okay and here we'll say target to be blank so i want it to open the website on a new tab when i hit this button and let's close this anchor tag and here let's say visit website just like this and after that i think we are ready with the boilerplate let's uh save this script file and let's see what we have in the browser so it's reloading right now and we can see that we have created this amazing looking website which is fetching some data from this api and displaying information about different restaurants all over the world okay now we can see all the restaurants right here and if i shrink this we can see that it's also responsive look at this Okay, you can play with it as well and make it prettier, but my focus was to teach you how to use the Fetch API and uh, manipulate the DOM using JavaScript. And we achieved this using this functionality right here. If I click on a button right here, we can see that we are navigated. Oh, it is not. Why? Let's see why website. Hmm. This is very strange. Let's see, this one has a website, which is which HTTP, so fine dining French. Let's see, so fine dining French. All right, let's see this one click and we can see that it opened a website of this restaurant that was it guys i hope you liked the video make sure you hit the notification bell if you have subscribed also do not miss any of my videos thank you so much for watching and i see you again in the future